Hello YouTube, and welcome to a quick little update. This is not a full episode, although I suppose I will label, as, label it as such. I guess this is uh, episode 12, but it's, very, it's going to be very short. It's just a little update on the as of yet unnamed mansion. I have received a, a few, requ a few uh, ideas for a name, but I haven't decided yet. So uh, for now it's unnamed. And before we go in, I'd like to address something. Spider. Oh, huh, I thought there was a spider down here. Never mind. See? You can hear it. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> I'd like to address something, and that is the problem with 1.9. Because apparently, just like uh, was the case with 1.8, this world will be surrounded by infinite ocean, which is a very strange side effect to the changing in biome generation code which means that I will have to restart this server again so because I'm getting very sick of it quite frankly um, I have decided the following what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use MC edit and I'm gonna move this house and of course any other creations that people that play on the server have made and want to keep. Uh, so far to my knowledge there isn't really anything very big built yet but you know um, I would like to give everyone the opportunity to move their structures and whatnot to the new server. No items. We're gonna start clean with the items but um, yeah I'm gonna move this structure to the new world because this took a lot of time to build and it's getting close to being finished somewhat and I really don't want to lose it because I love it so much <laughs> so that's the plan let me know if you agree with that if you don't I will still do it but at least we will know <laughs> so leave a comment below it'll be fun so let's go inside a lot of a lot has happened I've got these little uh, Iron fences here. I have these for a reason. Creepers kept blowing up the front of my house. And it doesn't seem to happen so much anymore. Because now I can just see them standing here from the door. Turns out, these things are as sturdy as obsidian. So cutting them down is a nightmare. Oh my god. Be careful with those. Let's go in. <laughs> yes. Um, so if you recall, this was a really big open room and I didn't know what to do with it because it was too big and too open and I didn't really want to put up walls because I think that would break the epicness. So I decided to go for this little, uh, fencing. Uh, let me know what you think about this. I'm very interested in knowing what you think. I kind of like it. Uh, I got these little, uh, nether rack light lanterns things and I've divided the room up to into four pieces this one is empty very obviously this one is empty as well let me know what you want me to do with these two because I haven't a clue I've got these two back ones which I will get to in a minute I have a plan for those this is gonna be a kitchen and this is a sitting area but I don't know what to do with these so uh, you know give me suggestions Let's build this together. <laughs> I put up some paintings. I think they are quite epic. I am my own biggest critic, but I think it is perfect in every way. <laughs> and I got this little sitting area here. Got my little table here, just because I wanted to try that. It doesn't really work in this setting, but we're going to keep it anyway, because it has sentimental value to me. I don't know why. Because this entire room is covered in half slabs, that allows us to do some very interesting stuff with the other blocks because basically every other block has turned into a half block which means that I can make this type of uh, little couch you know I kinda like it um, got some wool on there I've got a chair, red chair, yellow chair, blue chair got this fancy table here see with the cobblestone there it's, it's it works I think it works there's actually glowstone under here you can't see it it's, it's down there. So that's a bit of passive lighting. So at night, it lights up the room a little bit, but you don't really see where it's coming from. I think it's nice. 
Let me know what you think about this. This is probably going to be the headquarters. You know, I can sit here in my little chair and we'll have the uh, the Walrus Pirate and Jared and Marty sitting here and, uh, you know, we'll discuss daily events in the world of Minecraft. Yes. So this is the sitting area. area. I'm probably going to do some more with it, but I'm not sure what at the moment. For now, I'm happy with it. I've got these little uh, fences here to look through. I think they... Uh, I think they open up the room nicely. Not that this room needed any opening up, but still. So this is going to be the kitchen. I uh, haven't built that yet, obviously. But that's the plan. This is going to be the kitchen and the bar area. I don't know. And think of things to do with these. We'll go up the stairs now. I always go left. Let's go right this time because this staircase is getting lonely. Oh, poor staircase. That's a good boy. Oh my god, I'm crazy! He's a madman! <laughs> this is my work area. I've got the uh, unnecessarily expensive lights up there. I put the furnaces in there. I think they have a nice effect and... Well, I like it. Got my chests here. This is my stone chest, as you can see. Get the furnaces, or the furni, if you will. Get some more furnaces over here. We've got the uh, the wood chest, which is practically empty for obvious reasons. I think you can see where it came from. This is the ore and precious material chest, which is pretty much empty. The dyes, redstone, this is the decoration chest. And the sand chest, which is also empty. Mob drop chest. Farming and uh, miscellaneous nature chest. Awesome. I have a very, very silly little feature to my house here. This is a, <laughs> this is a dispenser here with some arrows in it and a button on top. And uh, when I get bored, I can press the button and shoot an arrow out from the mansion. Yeah. Take that, random tree. <laughs> I don't know why I like that, but I love doing that. Just going... Uh, silly, silly fun. Oh, Minecraft. You so silly. This is where I sleep. This is my bedroom. I think that uh, it's almost nighttime, so that's a good thing because you have an epic view when you sleep. Oh my god, we've got Chrono Trigger right here because that game is awesome. If you've never played that, go play it because it is cool. We've got this... Uh, this funky little eye guy kind of reminds me of a wiggly from Kirby. It's, I don't think it is, but meh. I like it. So let's sleep. Oh, by the way, this is where I keep my armor and my map and my lighter for when I want to set things on fire, which happens surprisingly often. And see, this is kind of nice. Oh, I love this base so much. This is why I'm moving it to one point night as well. Because as you can see, a lot of work is going into this, you know? I don't want to lose it all or have to redo it all. Oh my god. So yeah, just a little update on the uh, mansion. Not a full episode. I guess it's not that long. But I really couldn't wait until the weekend to show you this because I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Any creepers? Because this, the front of my house has been blown up one too many times. So let's take a look from outside. That's the dispenser with the silly, silly arrow shooting thing. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it looked very comical from up here. You can see a little guy looking out the window shooting arrows at nothing. <laughs> it's my favorite feature. I am easily amused. As are you. Sorry to say it. <laughs> so, uh, got some stuff going on. I got some, uh, some uh, hatches back there as well, you know, for symmetry purposes. And we can look in, and I think that looks absolutely epic. Like I said, I'm my own biggest critic, but I think it's perfect. Whoa, Minecraft, don't glitch out, don't do it. Crazy game. So that was pretty much it. Let's climb the roof for no particular reason. And uh, let me know what you want me to do with the uh, two empty, shall I call them rooms, areas, down in the living, uh, in the living, I guess you would call it. 
and uh, let me know how you feel about that whole 1.9 thing. Are you getting tired of creating new worlds as well? Let me know. It'll be fun. We'll have a conversation. I am aware of you. <laughs> okay, enough craziness now. This is uh, the end of the little tour, and I will see you in the next episode of Minecrafting with the Vox.